The first consumer device to detect a wearer's phase of sleep uses a fabric headband that measures electrical signals from the brain. Throughout the night, these measurements are sent to a base station that doubles as an alarm clock. The device was developed by Ben Rubin, co-founder of a company called Zio, which was established to move the sleep monitor from an idea in a dorm room to a commercial product that could help people take control over their health. Rubin was selected for the 2011 TOR35 for this innovative work. The actual initial idea for the company was uh, we were college students. We were sitting in a basic psychology class and we heard that if you wake up from the ideal time in your sleep phase that you feel more refreshed. So if you set an alarm for 7, could we wake you 15, 20 minutes earlier, but in the right phase of sleep so that you'd feel better, feel more active, feel like you got a better night's rest? Uh, and the answer is yes. And, and we developed uh, the first feature of the product, which is called Smart Wake, went after sort of exactly that, waking someone at the optimal time. But what people are much more using the product for today is actually getting more out of their sleep. So sleep is one of the most powerful but least understood aspects of your health and wellness. And as a result, by being able to see for the first time how caffeine impacts your sleep, how bright light in the morning impacts your sleep, how your exercise impacts your sleep, you can modify your lifestyle to get more out of sleep. The, the, the product that you actually see in front of me is the uh, Zeo Personal Sleep Coach, which we released as our first product. And the sort of key part of Zeo is this lightweight headband. This actually is able to measure your brainwave activity. It uses these soft silver sensors, which I'll talk about how we discovered those, to measure your brainwave activity, your muscle tone, and your eye movements. So this headband then transmits that data over to the bedside display, and this is where we have algorithms that really interpret that data and turn it into wake, REM, light, and deep. Uh, REM sleep is important for restoration of the mind. That's where dreams typically occur. Deep sleep is important for bodily restoration. If you, you know, I notice, for instance, if I exercise really hard and I hike for a day, my deep sleep will double or triple that night. Uh, so you'll see on the device the result of those algorithms uh, in a ZQ score, which is a single number that represents your sleep quality, and then also in uh, the Zio Sleep Print, which is a graph that actually shows you over the course of the night, you know, I was in wake, I was in REM, I was in deep, all the really detailed information that you need to, to analyze what you're doing in your life and how that impacts your sleep. The Zio was the first at-home device to measure sleep. Prior to Rubin's work, people had to go into sleep study labs and be hooked up to big machines. Despite skepticism from his advisor at Brown University that there was a way the functions of those machines could be squeezed into a consumer device, Rubin and a few of his sleep-deprived friends built their first wearable alarm clock. I actually have with me um, one of the initial prototype devices uh, from Zio. So this is uh, Zio like .001, uh, literally uh, like an old sweatband. Uh, that one of our engineers sewed this silver fabric onto. And we found this silver fabric is actually being used as a medical wound dressing. The silver has antimicrobial properties, but you can get some basic brainwave information out of it. It's, it's a little messy, it's not quite what you'd want for a sort of a full medical quality system, but it's able to give you enough information that we're able to develop algorithms to get actual sort of sleep stage in the home. So the, the first device that uh, you would have seen us sleeping with would be you know, this big headband and then you know, having this wire basically connecting to an Altoid stin where we had the electronics. So we, we sort of like to keep this around the office as a reminder of what it's turned into. Users can avail of accompanying software to get suggestions for improving sleep quality and eliminate their nighttime disruptions. They can also further explore their sleep information by uploading it to Zio's website. We see Zio as a sleep management company. And what does sleep management mean? It, it means that if you're a consumer, you come to Zio and we're going to surround you with the right solutions to take care of your sleep. Uh, and that could be anything from, you know, I've got two newborns and they're driving me crazy and I can't sleep, to, you know, I can't fall asleep, I'm just stressed, all the way up to someone who's running a marathon and wants to, you know, recover and train for that marathon. And as a sleep management platform, you know, the tracking tools like Zio are an extremely important component of that, but we also have to surround those users with ways to relax, with ways to, you know, outfit their bedroom environment, whether that be a new mattress or a new pillow. 
uh, with ways to track other aspects of their life, their diet and their exercise and tie that to their sleep. So really building out that whole ecosystem. And that's something that of course we're not gonna be able to do just as Zio. So we're partnering with a number of different companies to help us build out that ecosystem. So as an example of that, you see uh, Zio now integrated into solutions from people like Runkeeper, which has an app that tracks your fitness and a fitness platform, and Daily Burn, which tracks your diet and really enables you to get control of your weight. So we're surrounding the consumer really with all the aspects that they need to get the most out of their sleep.